Hey, what's up guys? My name is Matt and today we're going to learn how to use a video file as a texture in Blender 2.7 using the Cycles render engine. So we're just going to go ahead and pop open Blender here. And the first thing you want to do is go up to File, User Preferences or Command, comma, go ahead up to the um, Add-ons tab and then do a quick search for import images as planes and that's going to be the first thing that pops up. You need to make sure that that's checked so you've got that option enabled. Save your user settings and we'll close out of here and then for this example we're just going to leave a default cube um, and then you want to go to file import images as planes as you've previously enabled and then I've got my video file saved on the desktop and this tricked me for a second um, if you don't have this little button up here checked that says show movie files you need to click that button and then your movie file is going to show up here and I've just got a standard mp4 video file 1080p just regular um, h264 codec and all that good stuff so click import images as planes and that's going to pop up underneath the cube if we hit Z to go to wireframe mode you can see it underneath there um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rotate this on the x-axis by 90 degrees oops excuse me I've got the cube selected how about that so RX 90 and then RZ 90 and then hit 0 on the numpad to go to the camera view and then we're just gonna G X, just move it out here in front of the cube, and then Shift D to duplicate, and then G Y to move it on the Y axis. R Z ninety G X. So we've got just two videos here. I'm just gonna put them on the outside of a cube just to see what they look like. Um, and then we are in Cycles Render, so that's good. Um, let's just go ahead and add a quick material to the cube. Go over here to materials pane and just make it a nice blue and glossy. Pretty basic. So then go over to our world settings next. See what we got here and just make the world completely dark. And then for our images as planes we should already have in our texture panel the image texture that we selected before our video and um, for this one um, color flat and movie that's all fine if you get for some reason you go into your materials tab and you go to the preview and you get your material and it is a purple example like just like a purple solid color what you want to go over here is into your image texture options and you will probably have this on single image which would result in a purple solid like this so if you've got this roll over here to your uh, texture settings make sure that that's set to movie and then you should get um, a screenshot of your movie whatever you've got playing and um, this is how many frames you want to pay attention to this also you need to know your movie very well so how many frames long is your movie it'll probably take some math to try to figure that out but just for example I'm just gonna say 200 and it's gonna start on the first frame and um, for that we should have two copies of the same video movie 200 frames beautiful It's because we've duplicated that and um, from here we're gonna go into our um, material settings and then for the surface we're gonna change this from diffuse to emission and that'll give it a lot more brightness so if you just to just to show you guys I'm gonna change this back to diffuse like we had it before that was the default and you'll probably see nothing because we have no lights in the scene yeah there you go so what you want to do we'll get out of that and change your surface um, settings from diffuse to emission and a strength of one should be fine and then we're gonna go ahead and shift a add a plane bring it up top and scale it up just so we can have some light in our scene and we are gonna change our texture again from diffuse to emission strength of one is fine and let's render that out and see what we have cool so not too amazing but we do have the first frame of the video is um, over here and the second frame over here again 
and it's also being reflected by our cube um, that also has a glossy reflection material on it. So we can take both of these, scale them up, make it a little bit cooler, and then let's scroll down to like frame 139. We should have a different frame, like this one, guitar player instead of drums, because we're further into the movie. Render that out, and now you've got your next frame. So you can see that this is going to play if you render it out. And um, if you want to, you guys, if you want to put this, like, like I said before, a texture that's on a material, you can easily take these planes and line them up with the object in your scene so that it's flat against it and scale it and all that good stuff. Um, so anyway, if you guys have any questions, uh, just let me know. Leave a comment below, and I will see you next time. Later.